So today we have quite a lot to talk about, I don't want the dilly dally, let's get straight into it. We'll be going over the alpha test details starting this weekend and we'll go over whether you got in or not and how to find out. Also talking about how to pre-download the game if you did get into the alpha on all three platforms. There's also some big news when it comes to the demo and pre-orders, effectively you get another date. Some of the minor stuff around the alpha test that I do want to go over very quickly. We have a big info dump on the website about play progression and how it works. And we'll finish off by having a closer look at the newest trailer. My name is Ride Central, and again in 5 seconds or less if you are interested in Anthem and want to keep up to date with the news, do subscribe to the channel. I'll be covering news up until launch, guides on each of the javelins, how to get certain stuff, yada yada you get the point. People have started to be greenlit into the alpha, myself included, I think I've been during all of the sessions, so I'm very excited to play and I hope you got in too. You can check if you go to the description of this video, I've put a link, if you log in there you should be able to see whether you got greenlit or accepted. Failing that you can also go to your email check the update folder if you have Gmail for example that's where it can be lost. You will have an email there saying congratulations on getting in or saying sorry we're full but that does mean that you get put onto a waiting list so hope isn't all lost for you if you didn't get into the alpha. For those that did if you're looking for anybody to play with we have a big discord full of people for both PlayStation, Xbox and PC so if you're looking for people to play with and stack up with for these missions then do join there give your username and find people to play with and you can also talk about the game there a little bit. For those that did get Get into the alpha, hope isn't lost as I said there's still a chance if you're on a waiting list, but also you're more than welcome to join that discord if you want. For those that are in the alpha there is a very important forum that you need to keep an eye on for sure. It'll keep you up to date with all of the news regarding the status of the service, for example if they go down you could find out there. And you can also submit your feedback or any bugs that you find out. This is an alpha test at the end of the day, you should be reporting some of these bugs so they don't end up in the main game. It's also a good way to talk about the game with people are also playing, and you know, you get the point. Now I want to talk about how to pre-download the game before the alpha actually starts on Saturday. And you can start doing this now. For PC it is really fairly straightforward, you can go onto your Origin account, and you should see this icon on screen. It should be at the top because it's Anthem, it starts with an A, and you should be able to just download it like a normal game on Origin there. For Xbox One, you need to go into the Apps tab, the Xbox Insider Hub, go to Insider Content, and then under Games and Available Content, you should see the Anthem Closed Alpha. And then you just click join and you can install it from there. For PlayStation you will receive a download build email which will have a unique code on. Then you go to redeem that code in the PlayStation store, confirm the code redemption and then download the game. All is straightforward but PS4 relies on you getting an email so do check that you have that and it's not in your spam folder because that is very important. All of these are really straightforward to set up by the looks of it so you should be good and going by the time that the beta rolls around. The download will be about 20 gig in size. And for those using the Xbox One X Enhanced, you will have the ability to run it in HDR10 and 4K Ultra HD if you wanted. We did also get a lot of information about the recommended system requirements for playing Anthem for the Alpha, but I assume it would be the same for the full game. It requires an i5, 3750 processor or an AMD FX6350, 8GB of RAM, and around the GTX 970 or an AMD 390 and around 60 gig of free space. That's about how much the game is going to take up in total. So there the system requirements needed to run alpha at a pretty good level. So it's good to know that we have that information handy now. Now let's go over the important information on the alpha, starting with the main one. There's going to be some things that are locked that you can't do, such as customizing your javelin, the abilities that it has, how it plays, but also the personalization, how it looks. So you're gonna have the very default versions of these javelins, and there will be one mission, that Lost Arcanist mission, that we saw in Paris and that we should have seen last week on stream but we couldn't because the stream was kind of falling apart right so it has been changed since but I would assume as well that we're going to have some open world stuff to do in game too so there should be quite a lot to do in game checking out Fort Tarsis and the like but I wouldn't be surprised if you run out of stuff to do in the game right so don't expect a lot of content in this this is purely to test out the servers it is under a alpha agreement not necessarily an NDA but you can't really talk about the game you can't stream it you can't use clips of it in videos. You can tell people that you got into the alpha, but that's about as far as you can take it. Now again, let's talk about when the alpha starts and ends. The sessions are as followed, and are all in a central time zone. The first session is 9am to midday on the 12th, which is Saturday, and then 2pm to 5pm later that day. It's the same times on the Sunday too, so 9am to midday and then 2pm to 5pm, both have a 2 hour break in between. However, one thing that I did see on the Anthem store is that the closed alpha expires on December the 11th at midnight, so that's the Tuesday next week. 
Now, that might be just when it deletes itself off of Origin and not when the servers go down. But potentially the alpha has been extended. I doubt it though, that's why I haven't really highlighted it too much. There are a lot of times you can see on the screen how that relates to whatever time zone you're in. Now I want to go over some big news that came out of the Game Awards last night, including the trailer. But first, some really good news for those that pre-ordered. If you've pre-ordered the demo, it opens on January the 25th. For everyone else in the known world, the demo starts on Feb the 1st. We think Anthem feels amazing to play and want you to see that before our launch on February the 22nd. Now the question that I asked is, do the pre-orders get a full week then of testing out the game? But I don't really think that's the case. It might just be one extra day that does not pre-ordered get to try the game. I think more information needs to be cleared up there, but it does look good that we're having more and more tests of Anthem. This is more of a content demo though. This isn't an alpha or beta test. So this should be the full game that we see on January the 25th. 5th, which is just over a month away. This isn't the beta by the way so there might be beta tests that come out towards the end of this month and the start of January but again no confirmation on there. We just know that this demo that we're talking about here isn't a beta so there might be more tests down the line for you to get a chance to play. Not only that we had a big info dump about a lot of different stuff on the EA website for Anthem mostly going over gameplay features. We have all of the meet the ranger, meet the colossus, meet the interceptor, meet the storm pages which we have seen in the past. Going over the ability and the ultimate, the characters which we've also seen but not talked about on the channel, which gives details on stuff like Halleck, Faye, Owen, the combat which we also highlighted in a previous video which I'm showing you some stuff on screen, but there's also some really good info about progression. In Anthem you play as a pilot who could use an arsenal of javelins to complete their mission, but you'll also be able to have several pilot profiles on a single game, so don't worry if you share a game console at home, you won't have to share your progress as well. This is broken down into three different areas, pilot progression, javelin progression and javelin customization. Pilot progression applies to every javelin your pilot uses and focuses on those aspects of being a pilot that aren't specifically tied to a javelin. You can put points into flying for longer periods of time without overheating, allowing for greater mobility during combat, and fewer stops when traversing long distances for example. This is the skill tree that we've spoken about a little bit, it doesn't affect the javelin that you're running but your character as a whole. We have some really good examples of some of the skills such as being able to stay underwater for longer, flying longer distances as we just went over, but these are transitional skills I suppose that apply across all of your different suits, your Colossus, Interceptor, all of that stuff. Hopefully we can choose and pick those talents kind of at will instead of kind of being locked into them and having to pay a certain amount of in-game currency to reset our talents for example. Be nice to be able to just change it on the go. Javelin progression. As your pilot gains experience operating a specific javelin, you'll collect a lot of equipment for different abilities and rarities. You might want to equip components to reduce the cooldown of your ranger's grenade attack and dish out even more damage in the field. As an example, each javelin, ranger, colossus, intercept and storm all have their own unique equipment that can be collected. Your loadout choice will allow you to tailor your javelin's abilities to your playstyle or discover different playstyles you may not have considered. All of this is fairly straightforward and stuff that we know, but the interesting thing is equipping components to reduce the cooldown of your ranger's grenade attack. So this might be talking about certain mods that we could use on certain gear abilities. For example, you have the frag grenade launcher as a ranger, but you can put mods on to reduce the cooldown, to increase the damage, the range, the spread, those kind of areas. It might be part of the weapon as a stat or a perk that is equipped onto that specific gear piece, but it might also be something that you could attach on its own. Still need more information, but we have been teased a little bit more, some pretty good stuff there. And lastly, javelin customization. Upgrading weapons and honing your loadout is another crucial piece of the progression and will further allow you to create a perfect javelin for you. Be sure to align your progression choices with your customization for maximum effect against enemies. I don't really know if this is talking about abilities, how the javelin looks, but again this is a really big part of the game and it seems that there's a lot of focus going into it from Anthem to be able to upgrade and progress your character's strength, abilities to make it suit your playstyle. Some really important aspects there that I did want to highlight but I'll link the full info dump that you can check out everything in the description below if you want to have a look. And lastly we have of course got the trailer. Give us a bit of insight to the big body an enemy of the Dominion that has a Storm Javelin. That's where the Storm Javelins came from, in case you didn't know. We stole that technology from the Dominion, which are effectively like the Empire from Star Wars, that kind of level of stuff. I've watched it about half a dozen times and I haven't really found any major stuff in this trailer that I thought was worth really highlighting. I just wanted to bring your attention to the trailer in case you missed it. You can check out the full thing in the description below. But the main thing is that we get to see the real baddie, the Dominion, 
being the main enemy and the main force, and the anthem of creation good a bit ballistic. Thank you very much for joining, do let me know in the comments below if you did get into the alpha or not, do join the discord if you want people to play with, both this weekend and also in the future, and I'll see you guys very soon, have a good weekend, of course we can't really talk about the alpha a lot, so we'll have to be pretty quiet on that front. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.